Good morning again, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I've had a little bit of time to go over some of the data. And I am now definitely saying emergency alert. Super danger, people. Um, I know that people in Houston and in Texas along the coast sometimes have an attitude of like, well, I've been through a lot of hurricanes and a lot of storms. We survived those. We'll survive this one. But this is 2017 and everything is weird. And so what we're talking about here and now is that Peter Mullinax says the lowest barometric pressure on record in Corpus Christi, Texas was 964 millibars. The GFS wants to give that a run for its money. So I was like, whoa, because the lower the pressure number goes, the worse the storm is. I was like, holy crap, that is so bad. I can't even read it. What is the number? And so I went and checked myself on the GFS model. Now, I hope you're sitting down. 938. I mean, that, if that is anywhere near true, that is devastating. That is incredible. Um, and so. You know, I'll be covering this all day. I plan to leave somewhere between 10 p.m. or midnight. As I mentioned before, I got caught in Rita where it took me 15 hours to make like what is normally a four hour drive. I don't want that to happen again. Um, but yeah, if this thing is going to make landfall and be that nasty, I mean, that is just, that is incredible. Um, so. I'll keep keeping you guys posted. But, you know, this is shaping up to be quite an event. And so, I just ask everybody to say their prayers. But also take a look around online, on Twitter, on social networks. You can kind of see the people who take every single situation and just adjust it to their own political advantage. My my thought is, man, those people don't really care about people at all. They don't care about improving our country. They don't care about solving problems. They're pretty much just mentally masturbating with themselves. And that's on both sides of the political spectrum. Um, Events like these should rally Americans and make them have more empathy, more humanity, more compassion, more kindness. But I've already noticed the uptick in total shitheads. And you can try to rattle me today, bro, but it ain't gonna happen. I already had my freak out like the day before and the day after the eclipse. So my nerves are made of titanium at the moment. So I thought I'd let you guys know and I will, I will keep you updated. Um, you know, this is a very serious event. Uh, we can do a quick rundown of my Twitter. Uh, I follow every decent meteorologist I can find. And the information. Oh yeah, and I have no patience for shitheads today. If you want to mess with me or try to prove a point in comments? I'm just gonna block you. I'm not gonna think twice. And also, if history repeats itself, with Texas Canes, Harvey will have the potential to produce tornadoes on its right side before, during, and after landfall. So that's one more thing we gotta worry about. And this is rapidly intensifying. And I want to say that a couple days ago, I predicted it would hit. The Cat 3, and now they're predicting it'll hit it at Cat 3. So, even though I run Thor News on about $18,000 a year, you know, often I can super kick ass like I had billion dollar satellites in my pocket or something. But yeah, and look at the cloud tops on this thing. Um, and it just keeps growing in size. So, I would recommend, if you can, get out of here, do so. Um, because remember, this thing is going to stall out. It's not just the initial impact that is going to be the big deal. The thing is going to then kind of rotate and wander over Texas. Let me show you for those people who are just now tuning in. Okay. Now, over here's the date. All right, so that's Sunday. Why are you on Sunday? 27th. 24th. So there's the 24th, right? So, all right, let's let it run. So, boom, 
it hits early Saturday morning and it just kind of hangs out and then it you know, well, this model doesn't go very far but this has it going to this is it's still in Texas on Wednesday August 30th see it's still pretty much hanging out causing rain all along the coast almost five days from now so that's that's the big issue we're dealing with here and so I will keep you guys updated and the one that's another thing that's not getting a whole lot of press is this there's an also low pressure system that may or may not form around Florida and then move up the coast. The models have been doing strange things with it. So I just wanted to keep everybody uh, at home was keeping score. You know, 938 is that's pretty, it's like horror filmish, you know. And, and remember that this is just the beginning. Now that wind shear's down. I think we're going to see multiple hurricanes hit the United States because the pattern from the Pacific has shifted to the Atlantic. And so this is a time where America can come together as one American family, put aside our petty differences, or, you know, we can just do what we've been doing for the last 16 years. All right. God bless everyone. I'll keep you all posted. Stay cool.